Because speaking of potential buyers for WWE, one of the rumored suitors for the purchase of the billion dollar company is none other than the founder uh, head of creative and CEO of All Elite Wrestling in Tony Khan. While he was on the Maggie and Perloff show, I think it is, or Maggie Perloff show, he stated that if there is a process there, which it sounds like there is, there may be, I'm interested in being part of it. Do you believe that Tony Khan would purchase WWE? Do you think that the Khans would purchase WWE? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. If you're really trying to like make this just like the WWE or WWF versus like WCW type of shit, that like <laughs> why pulling a Vince and just buying the rival, <laughs> I could totally see Tony Khan being the mark that he is doing that. Do I think it's a good decision to do? No, no, because mm. we, we kind of need that competition nowadays Um, because it, it kind of is what is helping us continue to watch wrestling um and it's keeping it more interesting because like you know when people like become a free agent it's kind of fun to watch like oh where are they gonna go now are they gonna go to wwe they're gonna go to new japan they're gonna go to AEW. like it's the the controversy that's going on right now i just don't think it'd be like a smart business mood in the long run to buy WWE and also considering like how different they pers they, they purposely try to create AEW to be, I feel like it'd be weird just for like a, a bunch of wrestlers to have to like learn how to convert to a different layout. Cause there's some wrestlers where, yeah, despite how Vince is shitty and how a lot of people aren't happy at WWE, that doesn't mean that all of the talents there are miserable at, at WWE. Some of them are very much satisfied with their paycheck, with the roles that they're given, um, and the lifestyle that they have from WWE. It's yeah. like if if Tony Khan were to purchase WWE, would he make everyone get like with this more kind of slightly indie format? I say kind of slightly indie because I feel like as I watch the show progress, and even with like the show and the production changing, it is kind of becoming a more polished WWE with more focus on wrestling. Yeah. But it's just like, how would the talents adapt to that? I could imagine a handful would be happy just because there probably are a handful of them that are waiting for their contracts to fucking hurry up already. So they could just go to, uh, go to AEW. But I feel like it, it'd be odd. It just, it's not wrong. I'm not going to say that's wrong, but Right now, I feel like it's so soon because you just started your company. Like you just started your company, but I mean, I can't, I cannot say that it wouldn't be a gigantic W for a company that's only been up and running for over three years. Literally, just bought out like the biggest wrestling company on the entire planet. I don't know. What do you think about that? Is so I think it is. This is spicy. <laughs> and. It's interesting. So, like, I, I'll, I'll reference another. So, so Nick Khan, who I don't think has any relation to Tony Khan, uh, nope. was on the Bill Simmons podcast, and he was talking spicy about AEW. He was like, Ooh. "Oh, well, he, when referencing Tony Khan, he was like, man, well, it's easy." They were talking about AEW, and he said, "Well, you know, it's easy to run a business when it's at a loss." And I was just like, "That's." as tough <laughs> and you know he was talking about you know i mean he touched he touched on a bunch of different things but here's what i will say i think that if tony khan were to buy wwe he would let wwe run the way that you know it's being ran now because just because you own something doesn't necessarily that mean that you manage it or that you take the responsibility to manage it it's kind of like real estate right like you can own a piece of property yeah. and then and then give an equity stake to someone for them to manage the property. So ownership doesn't necessarily mm -hmm. mean management. So I think that because AEW is Tony Khan's baby and Ring of Honor is like another one of Tony Khan's babies, he would relegate his focus on AEW and Ring of Honor and just let WWE continue to be ran the way that it's supposed to be ran. Um, now, as it pertains to if, the, if really? there is a possibility, yeah, I think so. I think that as it pertains to the possibility of him buying it, I would I would say yes. There's always that possibility. Like, 
when when we look at the business portfolio outside of, of outside of AEW, this is someone who is involved in in football overseas. He is involved with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Obviously, his family is a billion dollar family. They have the money and the assets to purchase WWE. They can do it if they wanted to. Um, now, will they? I think I, I don't know if they will. I don't know if WWE would accept their offer because of because of who he is. But you know, I I I think that they can make a run for it. I don't think that Tony would try to 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 manage WWE. I think he would buy it just for the sake of having certain people on his show. I would listen. I yeah. wouldn't be surprised if Tony bought WWE so that he could do as many WWE AEW crossovers as he as he would like. Imagine. Oh yeah, that. Bianca versus Jay would be the first thing. Imagine you got a Bianca yeah. versus Jade. Imagine you, you know, you're dealing Kenny with Kenny Omega versus Roman. Kenny Kenny Omega versus Roman. Kenny Omega versus AJ Styles. Um, you know, depending on where they go with this Jay White thing, you can have a Jay White versus Edge. You know what I'm saying? There's so many different crossovers that you can have with AEW and WWE that I think that the idea of buying WWE is appealing to him. Not necessarily for the potential of him managing it, but just for the potential of how he can benefit his AEW product. Uh, because, I mean, the crossovers would be endless. You know what I'm saying? So that's my little take yeah. on on if on if Tony. But we want to know what y'all think. Do you believe that Tony Khan would purchase WWE? Let us know in the comments. 